Now she lost her life in the line of duty. Now the community plans to celebrate Officer Carrie Orozco's life. Action 3 News reporter Deborah Huff is live from her memorial at OPD and tells us thousands will attend her service. Deb. That's right, guys. I spoke with OPD Captain Mike McGee last week, and he teared up just talking and thinking about the support that the Omaha community has not only showed Orozco, but her family and the OPD uh, department. Now, here's how you can get involved. A public visitation will be held from 4 to 6 at St. John's Catholic Church. That's on Creighton's campus, a visual at 7. Now, you'll be able to watch that visual live at the Soko Arena. That's also on Creighton's campus. And her funeral Tuesday morning at 11, that's tomorrow, it'll be held at the same church, overflow seating at the Century Link Center. Now, you guys can't see it, but to my right, uh, there's black ribbons thrown all over the Omaha Police Headquarters entrance uh, to show support uh, for off Officer Roscoe. This memorial behind me has been growing. There's even a red, white, and blue wreath, a real standout. And today being a Memorial Day, this is also a big thing. Um, I've also learned the female officers of OPD bought a three foot uh, statue of the Virgin Mary. It'll be on display at the funeral and then given to Officer Orozco's family. Live from OPD headquarters, I'm Deborah Tuff.